Welcome everyone to Unity of the Blue Ridge. I'm Reverend Gabby and this is Reverend Barbara Ann. And now Reverend Barbara Ann is going to do our blessing of the children. Hello children, glad you're with us today. Slow down, take a deep breath and know that we love you, we bless you, we appreciate you and we behold the divinity in you. Amen. Amen. And now it's time for us to sing together. So get ready. We're going to sing our song about faith and 12 powers. There are 12 powers for us to find and bring into our mind. There are 12 powers that we start to bring into our heart. There are 12 powers that can in fact change the way we act. There are 12 powers with so much worth. They'll bring a heaven to earth. There are 12 powers and one is faith. Faith to my life I have faith I think faith I feel faith I am again Reverend Gabby for that great song and our 12 powers and hey children this is our last week of that spiritual power of faith we've really enjoyed sharing this with you I'm going to start I'm going to read to you the download that you can get and then we're going to talk a little bit more about it okay here's what it says it says you have done a great job this month growing your spiritual power of faith you've learned how to think thoughts of faith You've learned how to feel faith in your heart, and you've learned how to pray as an awesome way to show your faith. Well, this final lesson is a celebration of faith on how you have learned and strengthened that power and how grateful we are that we have faith. So right now, we're going to do a meditation on faith. So what Reverend Gabby and I would like you to do, sit down and get very still. You know, take that deep belly breath and relax, relax and relax. And as you relax now, I would like you to just visualize this beautiful color of blue because blue is the color of faith. And blue is that beautiful vibration that you can feel now and think and know as you strengthen this spiritual power of faith. We are so grateful that we have faith and we feel this faith in our hearts and our minds. We're so grateful to know that God is with us every moment of the day. We're so grateful to know that whatever situation we're in, God is with us. We're so grateful to know that God's with us when we wake up, when we go to school, when we eat our meals, when we play, when we learn, we celebrate that God is our best friend within us all day long. Thank you, God, for this faith. Feel it, know it, and claim it. Now open your eyes. Girls and boys, we really do hope that you're celebrating faith. It's such an important spiritual power. And you want to start the year, you know, January is the first year of the month, and you want to start out really strong with that faith. Now, what Reverend Gabby and I are giving you this week with the next page are some circumstances that you can look at to say, now, how can you use your faith when you feel lonely because there's no one to play with? 
How can you use your faith when your family's too busy to play a game with you? Or you're upset because you can't find like your favorite book, your favorite magazine. Maybe you want to help someone, don't know how. How do you have faith? Maybe when your dog doesn't feel well. Now here's one we're going to actually act out for you. How do you have faith when you're too scared to talk in class? Maybe the teacher's on the screen and you want to say something. You're afraid. You're confused. How could you use your faith in order to speak up to say something? Reverend Gabby, do, do you know how to do that? How, how does that, when you're in class and how does that feel when you don't have faith, when you're too afraid? When I'm too afraid, it would be like, oh, I better not open my mouth because something just ridiculous will come out. And so I'm not going to say anything because I'll be too embarrassed. That's what that looks like and sounds like. What does it look like for to have faith that you can ask a question? Well, if you remember that God's love or God's wisdom is always with you, you have that, that power, that strength to say something because you're guided to know that what you say comes from that place in your heart and mind that's connected to God. So whatever you say is perfect because it comes from divine faith and partnership from God. So you're just going to say it. Excellent. I like about, that. Can we do another one? Yeah, let's try this one. How about you're afraid to try a new musical instrument because it's too hard. Oh, totally just went through this. I mean, okay, so the faith thing would be, the not having faith thing would be, um, oh, I'm too scared. I, you know, I can't possibly play this in front of people because I, I'm gonna make a mistake. What if I make a mistake? That I can't do it because if I'll make a mistake. Well, first of all, we know that music is a gift from God. And that if you remember that God is part of that, that beautiful idea of music and that your desire to play that is part of God's expressing music, well, I guess you might try it. It might not sound the way it's supposed to sound, but it's part of having faith is knowing that things are always going to get better, which also means the more you practice, the better you're going to get at what you're doing. You have faith that every time you try something, it's just going to get better. And look at you, Reverend Gabby, with that. <laughs> well, you know, you are. Yeah, I mean, what's interesting is I had to let go of this idea that I have to be perfect. And I just had to let go of that and say, you know what? Some weeks I'm not going to be perfect. And some weeks I'm going to have allergies. And some weeks it's going to sound like you know, a frog is singing in some weeks and it's fine. And I just have to, you know, just have faith that what I give will be enough. That's because God's with you when your voice sounds like a frog and God's with you when your voice sounds like an angel. That's exactly right. Okay, let's do one more. The last one says, oh, uh oh, you made a mistake. Uh oh, I made a mistake today and I feel awful. Well, oh, how do you how, how can you have faith when you really do like making a mistake? Like maybe you knocked something over and it went flying across the kitchen table and chattered on the on, on the on the floor. <gasps> you know, it's interesting. Have you ever had a mistake that you made just keep running through your mind over and over? And it's like how you know that shouldn't be the focus. And yet for some reason it stays stuck in our minds. And so how do we move past that? Well, when we have enough faith in God, we realize that it's normal to make a mistake. That when you're human, we make mistakes. There's nobody on the whole planet that doesn't make a mistake. And if we think that, that's not the thought that comes from God. God's like, hey, everyone makes mistakes and God loves us just the same. Exactly. I okay. like that. Thank All you, right. Reverend Gabby. Sure. Now, um, the, the prayer, I'm going to read the prayer to you, and then Reverend Gabby has made up a song for this prayer. So, gosh, girls and boys, really hope that you can sing along with her and get this prayer memorized. It's, God is with me all day long. My faith in God is ever so strong. I feel this power of faith in me. I am the best that I can be. I use my thoughts and feelings to pray. 
as my power of faith strength strengthens each day. So let's celebrate again that you practiced faith all month and we're so proud of you. And next next month we'll start another power and we'll see you then. Bye-bye. Excellent. Enjoy the prayer and sing along with us so you can learn the prayer. everyone. Thank you so much for being here. We will see you next week. And now is our time for our prayer for protection. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches Have a great week.